was a dark and stormy night, and all that remained was Libby. Ah, 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 ah. Welcome back, everyone. There's a creeper behind me. Whoa, scary. Maybe we could get a charge creeper. That'd be cool. And we are back on Limptopia. I'm pretty excited for today's episode because we've been doing some work. Hello. Hello. Uh, we've been doing some work in this area over the last couple of episodes. It's been pretty, uh, pretty redstone heavy technical sort of stuff. And I thought I'd switch it up a little bit today and make something pretty. Uh, I added some steps on the side to make it look kind of half decent for the time being. But we won't be working on the mushroom farms today. Today, instead, we're going to be working over in this area. Ooh, scary. So, the ultimate goal is to make this whole area look, look kind of cool. Not just uh, technical and functional, but also we want it to look half decent eventually. So what I want to do today is the first step of that, which is to fix up this area a little bit. Uh, you know, it's just sort of slabbed so that I had problems when I first got to the top here of creepers and whatnot. So I've slabbed this little area, but I, I kind of want to make something. Now, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, but I want to build some sort of little structure here and then from this structure I want to build a tunnel that goes through here and goes to each of the farms that we've got along here so today that's what I'm gonna be working on I'm gonna probably spend a bit of time working out a design uh, I might record some of the footage of me doing this and speed it up uh, I'm not sure yet but you'll see something appear here very soon. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Oh, and it's daytime. Hello, hello. All right, so I've been busy. I've been a busy little bee uh, digging out this tunnel. And also, I've gone into my creative world. And I've been working on some ideas for how we can design this tunnel. So I'm going to build the first part of this tunnel uh, with you guys. And then we'll take a look at it and, and see what it looks like because in my world, uh, in my uh, creative world, uh, obviously I, uh, it's, it's slightly different. It's surrounded by grass, so it doesn't look like this. So just because it looks good in there doesn't mean it's going to... Oh, my jumping fails. Doesn't mean it's going to look good on here. And oh, this, this beacon is messing with me. I'm placing blocks wrongly everywhere. Alright, let's get rid of those. So I wanted to have like a, a sort of a modern-y type feel. Uh, and I was trying quite a bunch of different things. And I think I'm finally happy with uh, the, the combination that I've, I've come up with. Oh, placing too many blocks. So first of all, this spruce entrance is going to look something like so. And... Oh... Fails. The fails. Let's replace that again. Boom. And we'll get rid of these. Boom. Cool. So we're going to have just this, this basic sort of uh, wooden entrance. And I might clear out around it a, a little bit more at a later date. Um, but yeah, so the flooring, I kind of... I kind of uh, tried iron blocks and, and a few different things, but at the end of the day, uh, like, we're in a desert, and I kind of wanted to keep that feel. So what I'm going to do is actually have the flooring use sandstone, just pure old sandstone. And there we go. So a lot of it's already placed. All right, so we won't do all of it. But we'll just do a little section. Boom. Boom, boom. All right, let's put that down. And my right click occasionally double, double clicks. Okay. So for lighting, what I wanted to do was use 
sea lanterns. Now, I haven't used sea lanterns too much in this world yet, and that's because I don't have uh, a farm yet. I still haven't completed that. So that's on my to-do list. That'll happen at some stage, but until that point, yeah, I don't really have an endless supply, so I don't use it too often, but I thought this was a good opportunity to, to actually use it. And then along the sides, I wanted to place down some sandstone stairs, like so. And like this. Okay, again, this is just the... Uh, the first section that we're doing just so we can get a bit of a feel for it and then I'll do the rest off camera so long as we're happy with it oh that that sound that you can hear by the way you'll notice that the tunnel goes right next to my darkroom spawner so yeah it drops all the way down there so I'm gonna have to get creative once once I get to this area and and do something slightly different all right Let's place these along here. There we go. And that's already that's already starting to look pretty nice, I think. And you can imagine it going the whole way along. But then the next question is, what do we do with the walls? And I thought that a good combination was actually to use these stone slabs as like a, a reinforcement type type thing so every skip three blocks so every five four or five or every four it would be we place these along like so and then we can just do like a, a little bit of a pattern in the middle and might get rid of those too just to be consistent and we'll put down some sandstone like that oh, I want those blocks back thank you inventory management oh terrible okay there we go and then put more steps like so there we go we'll grab those back and I'll go up here and I'll put more steps upside down. Okay, so you can see the pattern starting to come along a little bit. Uh, we'll break these middle blocks. And in here, we'll place, if I have any. Uh, nope, wrong one. Okay, so I don't have smooth on the... I wanted to put some smooth sandstone around it as well, so I'm going to have to go back and grab some. Uh, so, so I wanted to have some smooth sandstone uh, in here. Uh, for now, we'll just place regular sandstone, just so you get a bit of an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, we'll get rid of the roof. Oops. Don't want to break it all. And I'm going to use stone slabs. So this will meet in with these stone slabs like so. And then when we get to this side, I actually want to come down one so that it will look like, like that. And the same on this side. So I'll just place those in so we get a feel. Yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna look a lot like that. Uh, and in here will be that also. Okay, so that's all starting to look good. I want to grab oh, inventory, inventory. Let's get rid of the string. I don't want the string. Okay. Oh, I, see, I'm, I'm a stickler for this sort of stuff. 
I just want it all to look beautiful. Do it once. Okay, and we'll put that back. And now this dark spot is not going to be dark. What we're going to do is we're going to put an infinite water source down here. And it gives this really cool effect. See, of the, of the falling water, flowing water. And I think that looks really cool. And for a final touch, we'll also put some dark oak fence like that. And so we'll have a, a repeating pattern of this going along most of the way. We'll, we'll do some other creative type stuff. Um, yeah, and I, I think it, it's going to look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab some smooth sandstone and replace those blocks behind. I'll do another couple and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like so we, we get a good, of a good idea of what I'm trying to do here. All right, I'm back and ta-da! I've done some work. So I haven't done all the way, but I've done enough to use, an ex use as an example. So I've done the first couple and you can see I've swapped out the, uh, uh, the sandstone with smooth sandstone and that looks a lot better. And I think it's really cool. I love the water effects. So I've got stairs here and stairs here and water sources underneath and you get a really cool effect with it. Now my next real challenge is what I'm going to do here. So as you can see, we're right hard up against this dropper. So I've got to come up with something. Uh, that'll encapsulate this and fit it somehow into the rest of this build. And the other problem I've got at the moment is I'm getting low on sea lanterns, so that's not good at all. But we can we can get a little bit further. So I'm going to do a butt ton of work, and I'll try and figure out a design uh, that we can use here. Uh, it was never intended to be the exact same the whole way because I did want to have little pathways that lead up and see this is another problem that I've got so this is the farms so potatoes, carrots why are my carrots not working? I might have to check it looks like our carrot farm's broken for some reason uh, I have plenty of carrots still but that's concerning so there's something wrong with our carrots none are coming through uh, but I'm going to have to redesign that as well and figure something out uh, to do with that, which that shouldn't be a big problem. This one's a little bit trickier, but I'll figure something out and we'll come back very shortly. And we're back and right now I'm above the world on my witch farm. So I'm just on the, uh, the platform up here and it's such a beautiful view from up here. Uh, as you can see, there's my... Um, that that's my uh, portal that I, I made when I was in the Nether, and I ended up uh, yeah on top of the world. I'm gonna have to take that down at some stage or do something with it because it's a little bit ugly, but it can stay for the time being. And you can see uh, we've got the Guardian Farm, which is not quite not quite finished. I've been working on it periodically, but man, that takes a while. But this thing is absolutely overpowered i've been afking here overnight and that's why i'm missing all my item frames like what happened they just disappeared and i started thinking you know what could make my item frames disappear i mean the first thing is obviously a creeper but i've afked here so many times before and i've never had a single thing spawn and i didn't lose any health and i had none of the items uh on me so I'm not sure what's going on there like it, it seems a bit strange um, perhaps maybe some lightning maybe struck and knocked those off but I'm not sure wouldn't it have done damage to, to the chests as well uh, I'm not sure I'm guessing lightning um, either that or it's a bug but yeah it's probably lightning anyway Let's uh, go check out the progress that I've got. We'll end the pearl down here. All right. So, doesn't it? Doesn't that look cool, especially at night time? I love it. We'll go across the bridge. Uh, I've still got my old bridge there, which I need to get rid of too. My old little path walkway. And 
yeah, I've got I've got some other ideas of what I can do with this area. Uh, we're still early days in this world. All we've done is built farms at this stage, and we really need to make it pretty. But I love this little a little tunnel, a little tunnel that I've built, a little entrance. Uh, I've got to do something with this front area still. Um, I'm thinking maybe of moving this maybe to there, but I'm not sure yet. Because uh, I want to do something with this, but I just don't know what. Uh, the problem I've got with these half slabs is they're covering the redstone. So I don't, as you can see, the redstone. I'm not sure about exposing that. Uh, so I've got to come up with a solution somehow. Maybe I'll build a little hut here and then we can make the entrance uh, go this way to uh, the bridge, but not sure. Anyway, so this is what I've been working on. So you saw this in the last episode. You saw the, the pattern design that I'd come up with the, wa with the water. Um, and I've done that. Uh, right here we've got the dark room spawner um, drops down, and there you go. You can see a creeper um, burning along the way. I have lava up there, so they burn as they go down. Um, and I've replicated it on this side. I, I did have it just on this side, but it just looked too weird. Uh, so I've, I've just made the pattern uh, the same on both sides. And as you can see, this doesn't really do anything. Maybe I could maybe I could catch like a mob and put them in there or something. Hmm. I'll have a think about that. That might be cool. Yeah, that might be cool. And I've done oh, the rest of the tunnel. Well, I've done it. I've done it to here. Uh, because I don't really know what I want to do um, going further on. Now, you might remember this This is the point where my um, potato and carrots and wheat farm is. Um, and it used to come right to here and it was exposed. So I've, I've redone that which, so that it now takes it over to here. And it drops into these chests here. So, as you can see, it's insane even with just the uh, potatoes going it, it just generates a huge amount now I've uh, put a little stairway out to here um, I'm probably gonna build something around here but I also want to think about uh, some sort of path probably going along as well so there's plenty more plenty more things to do in this area uh, I've also got I've also got that yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna do that's that's my villager breeder uh, pathway. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that either. So many things, so many things to work on. Now we've got our mushroom farms here. Now, because I've been working on this for quite some time, let's have a look. Wow, look at that. So I've got two and a half stacks of both. That is epic. That is really, really impressive. Oh my god, I'm, I can't believe. Done. It's working so well. I'm I'm really glad we built this. And let's go use this with some brown mushrooms. Oops. And boom. Nope. Oh, it didn't, it didn't despawn. There we go. Try it again. Nope. And place it again. Try it again. There we go. So it doesn't work every time. But, I mean, that took three goes. Last time I think it took two, so it's it's good enough. And then I just use my silk touch and break all this down. And this is going to be really cool. Um, I've never had this building material um, before because I've never built a mushroom farm like this. I have I have built something similar to this. Am I picking this up? Yeah, good. Uh, but, you know, I just never had much of the material, so... I think this is going to be really, really good uh, to use, and you'll see at some stage I'm probably going to build with it on here. Um, I've been playing around in my creative world, uh, coming up with some pattern designs, and I have something in mind which is kind of cool, but we'll see whether I build it, because I really need a lot of resources to be able to do that first. And unfortunately, this is vanilla survival, so getting, getting resources requires a lot of effort, and that's why we build farms. Farms make the life so much easier. Alright, so that's pretty much all I've got. Uh, let me grab that. That's pretty much all I've got for you today. Uh, let's. So it doesn't close afterwards either, which is kind of strange, but... 
It's all right. We can we can fix that pretty easily by breaking the redstone. Yeah, as I said, this this has a few flaws. This design. Um, I really want to keep working on coming up with a new one, but so far I haven't come up with anything successful. And if I do, I'll make sure I show you guys because I would completely redesign this. But for now, it does work. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been working many, many hours on this. As I said, I, I started it yesterday and um, I slept uh, AFK uh, up there. So today's a new day and I worked on the tunnel a bit more today. So it's been quite a number of hours. So I don't have a lot of time left. I've got to, got to work on a few other things. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you liked the tunnel. Let me know if you think it's half decent or crap. Um, I especially just love the water. The water is my favorite part, um, but I think it looks pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Limpy out. Oh, we just saw another clip up. Bye.